Formula One, the greatest competition. Cars designed and engineered by the brightest minds, driven to the edge and beyond by the world's chosen few. Teams rise and fall, drivers come and go, but echoes of the past always remain. Hey what's up guys, Tommy14 here and welcome to F1 2013. Now uh, this year is actually a difficult year to pick out Jensen Button's best race because this was the first year where he didn't have a race winning McLaren, of course from 2010 to 2012 he had a race winning McLaren but 2013 onwards he didn't really have a McLaren that could go and challenge for race wins or even podiums so well 2014 they managed to get a couple uh, podium in the first race but anyway so 2013 I've decided that well I've looked through Jensen Button's form guide in the 2013 season and other than the battle he had in Bahrain with his teammate Sergio Perez which was a was actually a pretty good battle as it turned out the race I'm actually gonna pick is the let's not go cockpit cab is the uh, Brazilian Grand Prix because, as it turns out, he finished fourth in that, in a car where I'd say his average finishing position was about seventh or eighth. He managed to get a fifth place in China, but other than that, it was either way outside the points or it was just, you know, seventh, eighth, ninth, sixth. So to get a fourth place in Brazil, that's, pretty, that's a pretty damn good result. So we're actually going to pick Brazil as our challenge. So here we are then guys, welcome to the Brazilian Grand Prix on F1 2013, driving as Jensen Button, hoping to achieve a 4th place finish. That, this is I think going to be the hardest challenge, because 4th place in a car that was, I'd say, bottom end of top 10, particularly as I'm not used, A, not used to this game, and B, not used to a controller on this game, this is by far going to be, I think, the hardest challenge. I just want to check the assists, what we used to have on this game. And, um... Okay, then. That's, that seems about right. I think we'll keep traction control on full for now, because I've... Of all the games that I've played so far, I'm sort of least familiar with this one. But let's head out on track, see how we get on. So here we are, lined up on the grid for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton, of course, in the Mercedes now. In first place there, our teammate Sergio Perez has out-qualified us in 10th, and we're down in 11th place, just outside the top 10. For the Brazilian Grand Prix, Sergio Perez, our teammate, is in 10th place, of course. Lining up now five red lights, and away we go for the Brazilian Grand Prix on F1 2013. We're going to try and dart our way to the inside, as I feel that could be the best place for us to get moves done perhaps yes that was nice okay oh go on Fernando Alonso the fourth place the dream is in front of us with Fernando Alonso we're gonna use a half our curse oh it's a Mercedes one two battling it oh my god Vettel bloody hell we what a cracker of a move there past Sebastian Vettel we're gonna have to have a look at that that was so damn close to the back of Vettel's car if it would show us a decent replay though there we are Oh, look at that. 
Fernando Alonso actually managed to mug him off as well, going around the outside of him. Fourth place! Oh, he darted it down the inside of Fernando Alonso. We're going to have to be slightly aggressive with this McLaren, as I'm not really too sure where our pace is with it. But there are two Mercedes. Rosberg's in the lead. Why is there Mercedes dominance on F1 2013? I do not know. But we are one place above our predicted finish, which is a fourth place. Or not predicted, our target, which is fourth place. But... Mercedes has just got ridiculous straight line speed. It's like they... Oh, okay, no, maybe it's just us in the McLaren. Maybe it's just us. Fernando Alonso is going to come breezing past us now. Oh, we're going to hold it around the outside. Yes, we are. Beautiful move there on Fernando Alonso, two-time world champion. But anyway, we're losing touch of the two Mercedes now. They must be practicing for the 2014 season. But uh, yeah, we're, we're slightly holding up Fernando Alonso here. Oh, my God. Corner, corner cut, and that's understandable. But look, I'm just looking at the mini map. It looks like Sergio Perez is having a bit of a battle with some of the uh, some of the cars lower down. But yeah, two Mercedes definitely bolting away now. Uh, go defensive on Fernando Alonso. They've sort of reduced its chrominess. I oh, know that's not. A, oh my God, we've gone deep. We've gone deep. Oh, Fernando's right there. Bloody hell! That was a bit daring of him. I genuinely did not expect a Ferrari or Fernando Alonso to be there, but we are starting to hold up this pack now quite a lot. And you really, you haven't got a trail break in this game, so it's sort of like I'm driving to how I drive an F1 2012, because I've only just come off that to record this, but it's... They are completely different physics once again, so I feel for... Going from 2015 to 16. Yeah, they don't need to change them too much. They need to have some stability with the actual game because that, for me, I don't think there's been two. I don't think there's been any two of the same F1 game that's had the well. Oh, what am I saying? I don't think there's been two F1 games that have had similar physics. I think they've all just been like completely different from each other. So I, it would be nice to see two. I mean, obviously make tweaks, but I wouldn't like them to change it drastically over from 2015 to 2016. This McLaren feels so horrible. I feel so sorry for Weber, Alonso and Vettel. I think the three main cars we're holding up behind because we're already six seconds behind the Mercedes of Hamilton, who's probably about half a second behind... Uh, Nico Rosberg, but yeah, there you are. You see Fernando Alonso has actually started dropping back now into the clutches of that's possibly a Lotus. I know they were quite competitive. Back it. Oh my god. I'm not enjoying this game at all at the minute, compared to 2012 at least. But I don't. I really don't remember playing this game much at all, but we are going to go defensive here. Make sure two Red Bulls don't Whoa, wow, Vettel's going around the outside of us. Wow, okay. Okay, that's something new. What? Oh! Oh! My God, that was a cracking piece of racing between me and Vettel there. Now running in third. Let's hang on to this. Yes, indeed, Engineer. Let's hold on to this. How's our fuel looking? Okay, so we've got a lap of fuel. We're not going to run out like we did in the 2012 episode. I'm just not enjoying this McLaren at the moment. I'm so sorry for everyone I'm holding up. Even Perez is starting to catch us now and the car's ahead of him. But we need to get a good drive coming off this corner. Otherwise Sebastian Vettel is going to mug us off. Come on. Let's hold on to this third place. Fourth is the objective move. If we can hold on to third. Yes! That's another objective complete. Thank the Lord. So, we've done a pretty respectable job there. We managed to take advantage of the AI on the first lap. And as you can see, Jensen Button very happy there. Managed to get a podium. That's a great third place. Congratulations. 15 points. See, they kept, they kept the same boring engineer for the past uh, two games in 2012 and 2013. But anyway, that has been it for the F1 2013 Jensen Button Let's Play Challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. And also subscribe for more F1 
uh, not F1 2013, more F1 content, but uh, yeah, join us next time on F1 2014. Take care.